Hey, what's up, little dude? And look at this one. I love this. I love just hanging out. Hey, what's up, girl? She comes right over to me. Look at them. It's a little bit, a little bit stressful leaving home. What's up? Here comes one of the other Badiger. Um, it's just a lot to leave, you know? This is my little time spent with friends, right? Oh, I love the sound. Whoa, that was it. She actually got me a little. <laughs> I try and show you guys everything here. It's like candy, man. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good. It's just truly just enjoying the time I have with these animals. Because I'm not gonna see them. Petra has got a belly full of eggs. See this? And now she's losing weight there. So this is stressing me out. Oh, oh how dare you? Are you really gonna you really gonna do that to me? I'm gonna miss you, man. Hey, look who it is. What's up, boy? Jesus, Solomon! Alright, buttercup, be good. When she puts that S in, that's behavior you wanna watch for. Hey, what's going on everybody? It looks like Beast is still here. And uh, today's video, I'm gonna walk around here, uh, just kind of walk around the camp and kind of spend some time with my animals because I am leaving tomorrow to head on out to Idaho. So I'll be gone for a little bit, about 13 days to be honest. And uh, as you guys can imagine, Man, it's a little stressful when you get to leave home. I'm not, it's kind of a bittersweet sweet thing. I'm super excited for the trip, but I'm also a little bit nervous about leaving my animals. And I just kind of wanted to show you guys what I do uh, before I'm on my way to a, to a new place or when I'm leaving these animals for a long time. So I just like to walk around and make sure the fences are secure, make sure everyone's looking good. Um, and I kind of did this earlier, so if there were any problems, uh, everything would be okay. Here's some of the rest of the girls, and there they are, uh, the sulcatus. Uh, since we got um, Beast over here, he's gonna be picked up while I'm gone. Uh, I noticed that he's so big, he was able to kind of peek over this and him and Brutus was starting to kind of have a squabble. So I quickly threw up just an extra piece of board, screwed it in, this way they can't see each other. And this uh, lessens, the, uh, lessens the chance for them breaking through and then potentially really causing each other damage. So uh, very important thing to do. Let's head on over here and see what's going on with the radiated tortoises. Now these guys, uh, you know, I, I got my brother coming down. He's staying at the place. Um, he'll be here tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, what's important when I leave is if these guys get flipped over, as they are wont to do. By the way, here's Malaysian, Malaysian box turtle just kind of hauling. Hey, what's up, little dude? I love these little turtles. They come out this time of day, wander around looking for mangoes. Okay, so these mangoes here, they drop and then the tortoises kind of eat them and then you can see there's the pit so they uh, do a good job of cleaning everything but anyway um, one of the things i worry about are tortoises flipping upside down and one of the culprits that always gets flipped upside down is this male right here he's been breeding all the females and sometimes he kind of gets he gets uh, thrown off and when he gets thrown off he rolls on his back so it's kind of important to have somebody uh, that stays here at the house to make sure the tortoises aren't being uh, thrown upside down or you know something look at this one i love this i love just hanging out hey what's up girl she comes right over to me look at them how beautiful are these tortoises so yeah i want to make sure that there's someone on hand here uh just to make sure that the tortoises aren't in any trouble if there's some kind of accident which does happen from time to time so you really got to make sure that things uh, go smoothly uh, also i've been training my buddy roberto He's been coming over and helping me out, feeding the animals. He's been learning uh, how to take care of the animals. He had some reptiles when he was younger. He's also one of the uh, owners of a bike shop here in town, riders only. So he's a really great guy. And uh, I'm really excited that he stepped up and he's helping me out because he's been amazing. He's been coming over for the last couple of weeks just to really learn uh, the camp and learn the animals. So I also did some maintenance on the aquascape pond here, the original aquascape pond. We cleaned out some, uh, some of the pumps. Uh, we got the automatic watering is uh, working without any issue. Let's go ahead and feed some of these guys some of my Fluker uh, buffet blend. I love this stuff. The tortoises just, uh, excuse me, the turtles. As far as an aquatic diet, I love it. It's got a little bit of everything. It's got pellets. It's got some of the... It's got mealworms, it's got krill, so it's a really cool diet for the animals. And you can see 
The pink belly side neck loves the stuff, and so does my Oscar. Here comes the other pink belly. So this is good stuff, man. I really am thankful for our friendship here because these guys have been helping me out with some amazing diets, and that's what they're known for, uh, is having real all-natural diets. There's the Caliger Borneensis. Oh, somebody got that krill right from out in the middle. Oh, there goes the Oscar. So it's really cool watching these guys eat. And you know, like I said, I was telling you guys earlier, it's a little bittersweet uh, because, you know, I gotta be honest, this is one of my favorite things to do is just when the work is done, just kind of hang out with the tortoises and the turtles and just make sure everybody's happy uh, and doing their thing. And I know I'm not gonna see them for a while. And as you guys can probably imagine, it gets a little bit, um, a little bit stressful leaving home. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot, you know? I work so hard on this place and I wanna make sure all the animals are okay. But I'm really excited because I think I have in place a good team that's gonna be able to take care of these animals for me and make sure everything goes smoothly. Hey, look at this. How great is that? I love walking around and seeing the animals just kind of hanging out and enjoying all aspects of their habitat. Uh, the radiated tortoises have access. They drink from these aquascape ecosystem ponds. They wander around, they nibble on the weeds that grow up. You know, we get little grasses and little uh, different plants that grow up and the tortoises wander around and they give it a good little chomp. Whoop, there's a plant in my way, but I, I love it. So this is my favorite part of the day. Um, the sun's going down. It's, uh, the, oop, <laughs> I got a bug right in my eye. It's the Goldilocks hour. And uh, that is that is truly the best time to come out and feed the animals and see them moving around. Let's give these turtles a little bit more food. I got, uh, you know, I'm spoiled, man. These guys hook me up, Flukers hooks me up. So I've got uh, food jars at every pond so that I can just kind of easily put some in my hand and throw it out for the animals. I like to throw some in the still area because the turtles they tend to uh, have really good sense of smell and we do have some small cichlids in here as well uh, some african cichlids up oh, here comes one of the other badiger how funny is this badiger has this pond and the other two badiger they tend to hang out in the other pond so it seems like this gal here kind of likes living solo and then we've got this beautiful little reeves turtle which has become one of my favorite little aquatics such an incredible little species of turtle uh very personable and they're funny and on rainy days they come out and they wander around uh they'll wander around on land so they're a very active turtle and a lot of fun to watch but it looks like this big caliger is pushing her down she can't get any of the food here she comes perfect that's what we want to see happy turtles eating everything uh they really do love this diet so if you got aquatics definitely check out uh what fluker's done they've got a bunch of different blends they also have some really good foods for box turtles um, we've talked about the craft of cuisine, but I'm really happy with this partnership because the animals truly do love it. And uh, that's the important part, is keeping our animals happy uh, and healthy. So, awesome stuff. It's so much fun, man. So much fun to kind of walk around and really enjoy uh, the whole place at this time of day. Oh, but I can't help but get a little bit nervous. A little bit apprehensive about always the night before I leave somewhere. Um, it's just a lot to leave, you know? Um, I'm glad that the, that Kate and the kids are actually coming with me. Hello, young lady. Shish, they get around pretty quick. You notice that? They were all the way over there. Now they're over here. And this one is the most friendly. So funny. Okay, let's go see Darwin. But you know what? I want to bring Darwin and uh, Nostradamus maybe a little offering. Maybe we'll get some cactus here. Ugh, just pull some off. Pretty easy, huh? And then we'll go out and we'll see who's hanging around here. And also, I'm going to fill up this water, to be perfectly honest. Oh, see, everyone is out. Everybody is out right now. Come on, guys. So I, I like to come over and this is my little time spent with friends, right? So there is Socrates. Good boy. Actually, it's a good girl. Socrates is a female even though they really have to be about 200 pounds to tell uh, completely. But I'm guessing that is going to be a female. And let's get this beautiful tortoise, Nostradamus, my Aldabra, set up. You better go quick because socks, oh, socks is no joke. You got to be fast. Come on, let's go. 
Oh, I love the sound of these guys just chomping away on cactus. It's always fun to just let these guys eat. And then of course, Mama Darwin. Come on, girl. So, you know, these tortoises, um, spending time with them like this, you really get to see them move, uh, make sure they're behaving properly. This way, there's no surprises from my buddy Rob. Uh, everyone is healthy. Everyone's moving around the right way. Uh, they're gonna have water. Like I said, I'm gonna fill that up. Don't worry. Uh, it's just one of those things I didn't get to at the moment, but I wanted to make a video where we're just hanging out. Whoa, that was kind of a turtley burp, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Oh, and I better pay attention here because we're getting down to the nub. I don't know if you guys have ever heard me say this, but it's a little bit of a game here I play. Who's the bravest who can hold on to it the longest and let her get a chump? Whoa, that was it. She actually got me a little. <laughs> Pretty cool, man. Let's uh, continue along our little evening stroll here at the camp. And we're going to move on over. We're going to go see Lumpy. Uh, Lumpy, as you guys know, had been having some issues. What I'm going to do also is offer uh, Lumpy some cactus because I love him and he'll he'll be appreciative of the cactus for sure. So Lumpy, my sulcata. The good news is he's been moving around again. Bad news is that leg still seems to be a little bit uh, jacked up. Um, <clears throat> I also moved my old female sulcata. She came into the United States uh, in 1977 as an adult. Um, she uh, has been getting old and I think she's kind of getting along in life and I think she's, I don't think she's gonna make it and I wanted to move her because I don't want her to die um, in that enclosure with all the other tortoises. I don't know if she'll die guys. She eats, she's not gaining weight. Um, you know, we looked at her, we really can't find anything wrong and it's just, I think it's old age. I think this gal's heading out. Um, she's just unable to put on, as you can see, she eats, but uh, she's just not been putting the weight on. So I think it might be time for her. But I just wanted her to have a peaceful place. I hope she doesn't pass uh, while I'm gone. But if she does, um, at least she's all, like, not all alone, but she's got a peaceful place where maybe the other tortoises won't stress her out. Um, so I just want her to just kind of relax. I try and show you guys everything here. Um, if this was something that I could remedy, um, you guys know I would do it. But sometimes animals just die, guys. Uh, they're, they're not immortal. And even though they live a very long time. Um, but she's just kind of making me nervous. She sleeps more. Um, but then again, she eats. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. I hope she makes it. Uh, but if not, I know I've done the best I can for her and I've given her a pretty fun life got her in 2012 and like I said she was imported here into the United States as an adult in 1977 okay here's lumps hey buddy I've been feeding lumpy a lot of papaya and feeding him a lot of um, mangoes watermelon really increasing his moisture intake uh, and he has been eating some pellets as well so I like to break this come on buddy Let's just see what he's up to. Come on, bub. Can you smell that? We'll see if he's in the mood for any cactus. But uh, yeah, I'm really happy. I mean, I love Lumpy. For those of you new to the channel who maybe don't know about Lumpy, Lumpy is a tortoise that I've had for many, many years. Um, I got him as soon as I moved down here to Florida in 2004 from friends up in Long Island who had him as a hatchling. And he was just getting too big. Uh, it is a male. And so Lumpy's a pretty impressive male. He's got that beautiful flanging. Uh, after seeing Beast though, you can see that Lumpy still has uh, a lot more to grow. Um, we, we don't know if he'll get as big as Beast, but uh, my goodness, he certainly is an interesting animal and I do love him. But you can see there is a swollen leg there. So uh, we're gonna keep an eye on it. It's probably the gout, there we go. He just needed to kind of see that there was food here. Uh, so he does love his cactus. All right, come on, bud. Don't be shy. Chomp it down. That's a boy. So I'm real happy, though. Uh, he's moving around a lot more. And, of course, he's eating and pooping. So that's important. Because last year we had that feeding tube in there. He was extremely dehydrated. And I just don't understand why. So it was really interesting. But uh, all is good right now with the lumps. Here's some more cactus for you, bud. You get to it. Um, so there he is. Big old lumpy. 
Oh my gosh, it's a little bit of a, oh look, by the way, here's some mango. See, it's pretty cool, the mango falls down. Some of the squirrels uh, get it and then it drops. And uh, believe it or not, tortoises like to eat it like this. Uh, it's nice and soft and they're able to eat it. Let's give her some mango. Maybe you want some of that sweet stuff, sweetie? There you go. Oh yeah, come on, sip that. It's good for you. Get some mango. And this is what they do in the wild. Um, and I know a lot of people think sulcata shouldn't eat fruit, but I don't agree with that. Um, if you give them seasonal fruit, it's not gonna be a problem. Um, I think they do enjoy the moisture. I think the moisture is good for it, good for them. So she's going ahead. And plus a gal this old, I'm gonna just let her do what she wants. So uh, very cool. All right, man, so let's see. Just let her keep doing her thing. And uh, maybe I can get this other mango. I think I saw another one over here. I'll give it to Lumps. I just like spoiling Lumpy. So it's funny because like I said, the squirrels will eat a little bit of it, then the, they knock them off the tree. Um, so not a big deal. We just give him a little bit too and he'll get really excited. He loves the mango. It's like candy, man. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's good stuff, isn't it, buddy? Go ahead, get all those juices. Um, so yeah, we just let him chomp down on this mango and he loves it. So I'm real happy about Lumps and how he's doing. Let's keep going because we got a lot of animals to get to and spend time with, because I'm not gonna see them for 13 days. All right, hey guys. My elongateds, they're out and about. It's the breeding season for these guys, so you'll see some of the males over here. There we go. There's some male knocking shell right here, trying to get the female to kind of turn around and position herself in a way in which he can breed. And this gets extremely loud, and it's pretty aggressive. The males get real turned up uh, during breeding season. Again, notice that there's been a bunch of mango that have fallen in here, uh, but they don't. They, they just tear it up, man. So these elongated tortoises I've had for many, many years. And these were actually animals that were kind of brought into the country for the food trade. And they were actually brought out here in, um, they were brought to Chinatown in New York City. Purchased by a gentleman. Oh, there's a turtle yawn, tortoise yawn. Uh, purchased by a gentleman uh, who was gonna do a kind of a sanctuary for these animals and he ran out of money so uh, I was able to take this group and keep them safe and fed and happy and in a naturalistic enclosure. I love these tortoises. We get a lot of these babies. They make great pets because they do not get large. This is as big as they get. So there you have it. And uh, again, these guys are breeding now. They'll be laying in the next month. Um, so that's pretty exciting. You guys have seen that um, the cherry heads over here these guys have been uh, actively breeding and laying, and they're gonna be laying now for the next, gosh, five months. Here they are, very happy. In fact, you know what's cool, guys? Uh, years ago when I set all these pens up, I made sure I planted a lot of cactus. This is uh, just a, puni a puntia cactus, it's a paddle cactus, but it's the spineless variety, so people ask me all the time, uh, what kind of cactus is this? It's simply called a puntia or nopales, um, you might want to try Latin supermarkets because it is edible for human beings. It can be prepared in many different ways. Uh, I got a buddy, my friend Roberto, owns guacamole, oh, Mexican restaurant here in Jupiter Farms, and uh, he, he prepares it. So it is, a, it is something that people can eat, and that's pretty cool. So we got it growing right around all these enclosures, and I can just literally come over here, grab it, just like this. And now these tortoises get a treat. There's Darth Maul. There you go, Maul. Have a look, have a look. There you go. Uh, very uh, food motivated animals here. Look at this. Is that great, guys? This is my favorite part. It's just truly just enjoying the time I have with these animals. And making sure everything is okay. It's one of the most important things you can do as a keeper of animals is just to spend time with them and make sure they're all moving, they're doing well. Very, very important, um, you know. And I, I tend to have, you know, a good amount of animals, but um, I feel like I give them all pretty good time. A lot of, a lot of quality time I spend with all the animals. So there's Maul. I love her. She's so funny. Oh, I think. 
I think uh, Petra wants some food. Maybe we'll break off a little bit for Oh, look at Petra. So Petra has got a belly full of eggs. See this? And she's restless, and now she's losing weight there. Um, so this is stressing me out because she started digging, and uh, she has not laid yet. And so that means um, these eggs are going to get in the ground. Um, and I hope they don't go bad. I hope we don't have any bad rainstorms that would, uh, you know, cause the eggs to get um, fungus um, because I can leave them in the ground. Uh, if I'm lucky, she'll lay them kind of under this uh, roof. What we might do, and I told my friend Rob to look out for, is to see if she's digging. He'll know. I told her what she'll look like. She'll look shriveled up. Are you hungry? I don't think you're hungry, babe. I think you, are you hungry? Do you have any room in there for food, babe? I guess so, she's a little hungry. All right, come on, where's Petro? Get Petro over here, come on, bud. Come get some before she eats it all. They love cactus also, so it's neat. You see how he's behaving with that tail way up? He's not happy, look, I don't think he wants her to get all this food, so he's showing me. That's when you know that the rhino iguana is not happy, or any cyclora, they will tell you uh, because that tail's off the ground. See, he's getting frustrated, and look, he's gonna go after her a little get some of his own food. What's up, buddy? Do you see a reflection in there? What's going on? What's going on, man? Come on, get a little food. Something's bugging him. I don't know exactly what it is. I think he wants it a little bit more easy to eat. What's going on? Come on, you're annoyed. Are you just annoyed that she's uh, over here? But it's definitely something. Let's see. Am I, am I in trouble? He's put his tail down, so maybe maybe I'm not in trouble. Do you want a different kind of food? What do you want? There you go. There you go. See, it's good stuff. Usually I break it up for him, so I don't know. Awesome lizards, though. Really, really love the uh, rhinos and Cuban iguanas. All right, buddy. I'll tell you what. I'll put some in here. Just easier this way we can get moving but i'm glad she's eating a bit so we know she's going to have moisture but again she's got you know you can almost palpate her you could just see that she's got a full belly and you can see these hips are starting to be more pronounced look at him usually her hips are just like him you really can't see how well defined the hips are and that's because if you look at the base of her tail she's kind of using all her fat reserves because she's unable to eat as much so you can just make out a little bit of an egg. And believe it or not, she had 13 eggs last season. So I really hope she's good. I hope she's happy. Uh, if I come over here, guys, uh, I can show you that she's been digging right there. So very, very important uh, to keep that going. Now what's this? Oh, look, I got wood right here. Okay, but this wood is rotting out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go on the other side. I'm gonna have to throw uh, some more wire up. I'm gonna have to do that before tomorrow. How do you like that? So this is why I do things like this. I wanna come in, check things out, and make sure uh, I don't have an escape or a problem because if she continues to dig here, I don't know. This feels secure, but um, I just don't like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and remedy that right now. Uh, but cool, you can see different areas she's digging. That's what she'll do. That's where she likes to lay. Uh, we're also going to turn on the water right now to fill up the pond a little bit more. I cleaned it out. Hey, Petro. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. All right. Nuts. Let's get these clips on. You guys are familiar with this. You've been watching the channel. You know we've got a lot of clips. Oh, gosh. The cotter pins. All right. Let's go on the other side of that and see what the deal is. Come on over here. Up oh, there's Pinky. I don't want to get sidetracked. Pinky and of course the leprechauns and the two South African leopards. Okay, look. Yeah, it's just that one area. I think if I, I just have to dig down a little bit, and I'm gonna staple some more wire on this. I'm gonna get to that. But let's go ahead and we'll finish our little vid by going in, oh, before I do that, oh, there's Stumpy, Crazy Sophia's in there. We got some more elongateds and cherry heads here. 
I've been watching for my buddy Andy. Turn on the water. I'll just turn it on for 80 minutes. And uh, you'll hear it. There we go. Goes up through here and then out there. And we'll have water. Very good. Okay. So all the water is automatic. Um, I drained this out and refilled it, took out some of the sludge. I just want it to fill up and I want it to overflow for a while. Slinky, come here, bud. Slinky kind of broke through and tore some of this rigid insulation out. So there's a little styrofoam in there, but he doesn't eat it. So I'm not worried. Come here, bud. Come out, come out and say hello. Come say hello to me, man. I'm not going to see you for a while. I get a little melancholy, buddy. Get over here. Oh, oh how dare you? Are you really going to, you really going to do that to me? Come on out. Come on out. Come on. Get out here. You know you want to see me and crawl on my head or do something goofy to me. Come say hello to everybody, buddy. That's a boy. Here he comes. I really do love this animal. Um, monitors, you guys know I've been real monitor heavy lately. We went and visited Ron St. Pierre and I saw some monitors I'd love to get. Um, those black throats, my gosh, if I could get some of them and those Bell's face and the cape monitors. I, uh, I'm really motivated to build some really incredible enclosures for those animals. I just think they're so majestic um, and it would be really cool to, to build something awesome for them. Kind of see how smart they are and see how they move around because we've done such a great job with slinks. There he is. There he is. Hey, buddy. I'm going to miss you, man. I really am. I'm going to miss you. I hate being away from you. I have nightmares of slinky um, getting loose. <laughs> Because, um, you know, I mean, this place, this this whole thing's secure. I've got cement along the whole perimeter. But, you know, like I said, I, I, I just get nervous leaving, you know. Um, I just get nervous. So, hi, buddy. I love you so much. I don't know, man. It's kind of a mellow video because I really do get, um, like I said, melancholy. I'm, like, excited to go. I'm excited to have an adventure. Um, but, my gosh, you know, I've got... Like I said, my brother's staying here, my father-in-law coming over every day because he knows the pumps and stuff like that. And then I've got my friend Rob coming over to feed everything. Um, so, I mean, I'm well protected. You know, we got we got everything going. Are you gonna are you gonna go ahead and go down on him? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, see what I mean, guys? Slinky don't mind, he just uses me. <laughs> I love this guy. You are incredible. You really are, man. You're my favorite guy ever. So, um, I just like to come in and say goodbye to you. I'll come back out and give you a hug and a kiss, kid. But I've got to spoil these two. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You ate yesterday. Take it easy. I don't feed these guys every day. Maybe uh, I'll give them a treat, but I didn't bring one in. Uh, bad daddy. But um, here they are. Here they are. It's Guapo. And look how nice he's shedding. Look at that. See that? Oh, good boy. I help them out. I don't pull too far back because it's probably the feeling of, a, you know, when you peel dead skin off yourself, if you go too far, it hurts. Um, so I just peel whatever's loose. They don't seem to mind. They actually will tell you. Um, they, they'll try and get away. You know, I like to get some of these uh, little spikes off. There you go. Little keratin there. Made, it's a protein called keratin. But she's beautiful. And I can't wait to get their enclosure done. And then, of course, we've got these Chinese box turtles, whom you guys have all come to know and love as they are Looney Tunes. Hi, guys. Uh, but, yeah, just a beautiful, beautiful lizards. Oh, you got an itch? Is that itch? There you go. I got it off. I got it off you. And just look at these two. Look at this. Look at this. Have you ever seen a scaly dog before? Because that's what they are, these guys. And look at it. Just peeling it right off. Look at how beautiful that new skin is on them. Huh? What are you gonna do? And uh, so far so good, they seem to be getting along today. <laughs> when you've been together this long, in any marriage, you're gonna have squabbles, but as long as my lizards do not have missing feet, uh, I think that's that's good. Um, so you gotta be careful. Oh, are you gonna start? Are you gonna start up? Are you gonna start up? Give me that. Oh, 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 oh. I love driving her crazy. I love driving her nuts. So, uh, like I said, what a pretty girl. Cuban rock iguana. Probably one of my favorite cyclora. One of the first cyclora I got. 
Oh yeah, you're tough. All right, let's see what's going on over here. Looks like the uh, snakies. Oh, hi there, Hog Island Boa. We fed these guys yesterday. They're all fat and happy. They're the Timor pythons. And then the blackheads in here. Everything's normal. Let's see what's going on with Solomon and uh, La Diabla. La Diabla. Let's go over here. Hey, look who it is. There he is. Hey, Solly. What's up? Well, Jesus, Solomon. What do you say? I, I thought you were. Gosh, why are you biting everyone? Come on, dude. Solomon is no joke, man. Um, ah, you're so tough. You're so tough. Gosh, Solly. I'm going to have to name you El Diablo and your wife La Diabla. There she is. Look at her. Pretty girl, pretty girl. What you? What are you looking for, man? I fed you. These guys are so funny. And you know what else is funny? I told you before. These guys are uh, a bit nocturnal. Okay, so now's the time they're going to really start coming out. And she is right here. I'm, I can get bit pretty quick by this guy. What are you going to do? You're going to drive her nuts now? Oh, look, she's, she's kind of getting feisty with him. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, ow. What are you doing? My God, why are you biting him? You don't want him in there? You guys, what's the deal? Interesting. Uh, interesting behavior. I think because I'm kind of getting everything going. Yeah, she's just kind of, whoa, hello. <laughs> hello, young lady. I'll tell you what. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come say hello to everyone, will you? Get up on there. All right, there you go. Love it. Let's have a look at her. Let's get her out. There she goes. La Diablo. You gonna attack the camera like your boyfriend or what? Good grief. Oh yeah, you're puffing up. All right, I'll back up. I'll back up. Anyway, what are you gonna do? Funny stuff. And he's back in here. There he is again. All right, well we've come full circle. Hey guys. Oh my gosh, gonna be a long ride. <sighs> It's gonna be a long ride. That's the other thing, you know, you start off on these adventures and uh, anything can happen, man. It's gonna be nuts. I'm gonna have two children <laughs> in the vehicle <laughs> for a very long time. But I think this will be a great opportunity to show them uh, they've never seen proper mountains. So they're gonna see the Rockies and we're gonna go, um, we're gonna go to Yellowstone. So I'm really, really excited. I've never been to Yellowstone. So um, I'm excited and happy about that. So, pretty pumped. Okay, we're not done yet, guys. We are not done. I wanna see my babies, my baby snow leopards. Probably over here, there's one. How beautiful are they getting, huh? These guys are getting big. They're really starting to throw out some of that high white. And the older they get, the prettier that's gonna be. So really cool, and I got a moist area here. They can kinda of hang out on it. Here's the smallest one right here this is the smallest one and uh all their shells are super hard really, really stoked so i love these little dudes and then who else Step. look at oh this is i guess what i would consider the the prettiest one you see how it's really happening um just just gorgeous really well done good guys all right let me put you back get nestled in you were over here i'm sorry to disrupt you all right and uh there's Leon. All right, Leon's good. Let's go see what's happening over here. Nothing better, man. Nothing better than this. I, I kind of do this every night. There's my wife. She's just relaxing. Yes, waving. It's always nice. Uh, she's my favorite creature on the camp. I get to see her and make sure she's okay. But the good thing is, is I'm bringing her with me. So when I say high white snow leopards, that's what they get like as adults. Now, this is a South African uh, Pardalis. Uh, these guys get a little bit bigger. Uh, they can tolerate cooler temperatures, not cold, but cooler. And I uh, really was stoked to get these, um, really loving them. And then of course we've got the Leprechauns. There's one there. There's another there, hello. And we have the third one over there. And then there's the male leopard even you know if they're not a high white they're beautiful but let's walk over here and see the um snow leopards and make sure they're okay where are they there's one in the corner 
Here's one right here. But you see how reduced that um, black is? It's what I call snow leopards, or you could call them blonde leopards. There's just a real reduction of the black. And because they're outside, you know, they get a little bit darker, but they never fully uh, get as dark as a regular uh, leopard tortoise. So very cool. All right, let's go see Buttercup. It looks like most of the red puts are out today. Here's Buttercup. She's doing well, she got fed. I fed the snakes heavy, because I'm gone 13 days. I don't want anyone messing with the snakes. Water is on automatic timers. Um, the snakes are gonna be fine. Buttercup, come here, wake up. Now, she's probably gonna think she's gonna get fed, so we gotta be careful, because we don't want her to get all too, uh, too excited. All right, Buttercup, be good. Be good, Buttercup. <laughs> Buddy, Buddy Buttercup. Yeah, one needs to be careful. If she started to actually, yeah, we don't want to do that. She's in the mood. <laughs> she's, she's angling. <laughs> I don't have my snake hook, I tap her. But when she puts that S in, that's not, that's behavior you want to watch for, okay? Because this is, this is feed. This is feeding time, she thinks. But I'm going to go ahead and just step back so as to not become a casualty. Normally what I would do is when I walk in there to have my hook, um, and I would tap her, and then she'd know that this is not feeding time. So that's one of the things I've mentioned. We built this big enclosure, uh, but her behavior is still the same way. If she were in the vision cage, as soon as I open it, she'd lash out because she thinks something's gonna get thrown in. Same situation. When I walk in, uh, two things happen. Either she gets food or she gets pet, but we differentiate it by tapping her. Um, okay, here are all the red foots. They look good. All 29 are here. Um, just awesome, man. We got a squirrel squirreling out there. Very nice. All right, guys. I fed you guys. You get fed tomorrow. Got a couple more animals to see. Um, the other thing I do is I walk the perimeter and I made sure that the, um, oh, there's Hercules. Oh, sorry, Hercs. Didn't mean to wake you. Oh, well, go back to bed. Um, yeah, so Hercules is good. And uh, here comes Lagatha. Where is she spending the night tonight? I don't know. I don't know, but I want to go in and say hello to her. Gotta see the laggy, Lou. These two tortoises are doing good. Some people were silly. Some people, when I mentioned that I put tortoises in here, people are like, yep, say goodbye to your tortoises. Um, I knew Lagatha wasn't going to do anything to them because they're too big and that's not what she's involved in look at these guys there they are i put this up because they uh as expected went to town on this monstera um so it'll grow back and at least they got a little something something and uh here's their house so they'll keep the weeds down which i think would be cool and then right here laggy's in there hey girl hey girl you're okay so she's just in there we'll leave her be and uh, I know she's doing well, so let's do it. Let's keep on going. We've still got uh, two more cages I want to check. Um, hey, look what I see. Look at this little devil. Look at that little devil. You again, huh? I'm going to have to find out how the heck you're doing this. I'm going to have to set up a GoPro on time lapse. How you doing? You enjoying yourself? It's a, uh, I guess the grass really is greener. Uh, on the other side because he's got some in his mouth um, I don't know where this guy's getting out from I just put him back in now it's really not that big a deal to be honest because the whole backyard is completely fenced in and safe I mean Hercules can't get out so a, a red foot won't be able to get out but I just like to keep them where they belong so I don't know where the hey he's like the only one him and one female I think it's it's this area because I did notice one climbing out here and I threw this board up here. So maybe if I just pull it a wee bit over, I can get both areas. I don't know. Maybe they are able to get out of both areas. Yeah, look at that. I think we'll be good. Let's see. 
one stiff breeze and it'll blow this thing down it's an eyesore but i'll have to bring more i'll have to bring more wire out and kind of go higher with the wire bad 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 um see what i mean because they can probably get up here and then plop right over so i'll bring the wire up higher and that'll that'll hopefully do it i don't know if they're getting out over one of these but uh hey that's not going to kill them at least um they'll just be eating grass so you'll see these blue iguanas coming up the back yep there they are the lewis eye look good there's the female she's kind of over here so there's the male and over here is the female oh get over there um so good they're doing well and then finally folks we're gonna wander over through my little jungle that's starting to grow to our carpet pythons oh look at this it's the evening and when it's evening time pita comes out to slither around and so does colin who's down there there's pete hey pete what's up dude you're looking good this is what i love to see these guys are active in the evenings um they ate a little bit already but probably will attack the camera don't attack the camera please if you don't mind don't do it don't attack the camera so beautiful so i've successfully cruised around checked on every one of my animals don't worry i didn't forget i gotta put that wire up for the i gotta put the wire up for the female um well for the rhino iguanas by the way i like to finish off here and just look at the turtles they'll start swimming over little turtle heads everywhere let's get you down up close and personal with them go down on these rocks see who comes up as i say goodbye and uh gosh i guess Next time you guys see me, I'll be on the road. So definitely check out the Instagram, uh, Cam Kennan on Instagram and Facebook. I'll be doing some updates, posting on the stories of our journey. And uh, we'll have a video of the build of the truck, which I'm really excited. We're making the ultimate reptile rescue machine, uh, plus some other fun things I'm going to be doing out there in Idaho and Utah. So I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, thanks for kind of walking around with me and keeping me company while I see these animals, because I'm going to miss them. Do you guys miss your animals when you go away? Let me know in the comments below, man. Uh, I love every single one of them. Thank you guys so much. You've been really helping out the channel by your views. It's much appreciated. Thank you very much. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're a new subscriber and you enjoy this kind of content. Thank you guys. You rule. I'll see you soon. And uh, don't worry, all the animals should be A-OK -okay, because I've got some good people watching over my home. Thank you. See you soon.